Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. This unexpected appearance was like a sudden carnival, attracting global attention instantly. This eye-catching mobile phone is said to be equipped with domestic Kirin 9000 S series chips. Later, this news was confirmed by technology bloggers. According to the information, the blogger took apart the Huawei Mate 60 Pro, and there were some unusual traces on the chip inside the phone. There is no doubt that this is a chip code named Hi36A0. This chip has the same code name as High Silicon Kirin 9000, but the production tail number is CN, which is completely different from the Taiwanese OEM products marked with the letter TW. From this difference in the last number of the chip, China can already draw an important conclusion. This is a pure domestically produced self-developed chip. This news quickly spread throughout the internet in an instant, like a spring breeze blowing, awakening the interest and attention of countless people. The appearance of Kirin 9000 series chips has completely shattered the outside world's doubts about mainland China's semiconductor manufacturing capabilities. The doubts that once existed have now been dispelled one by one by this dynamic chip. It is no longer an obstacle, but a ladder leading to higher technological peaks. Previously, the 7 nanometer chips used in Chinese mobile phones relied on imports, and the development of the domestic chip industry has long been restricted by others. However, 30 years are in Hadong and 30 years are in Hashi. The data shows that the process technology of the new Kirin 9000 SOC does not belong to the range of 28 nanometers or 14 nanometers but may use a more advanced 7NM plus chip under the N plus 1 process. This news is of great significance, like a spark of hope, indicating that domestic chip manufacturing technology has entered the field of advanced processes. This important node seems to be a key step for science and technology to move into a new era, making people look forward to the future with great expectations. At this moment, it seemed that the entire technology circle was boiling. At the same time, there was one person who couldn't sit still, and that was U.S. Secretary of Commerce Raimondo, who was on a visit to China. Before his visit to China, he had declared in an aggressive manner that the United States would restrict Huawei's high-tech development and even adopt sanctions and other measures. However, Huawei suddenly released the eye-catching Kirin 9000 series of chips in the middle of his visit to China. After this news spread all over the country, Raimondo seemed a little worried. At the subsequent press conference, Raimondo had to say to the media, China is generally optimistic and hopes to solve the problem with China step by step. This sentence seemed weak and pale as if it was a kind of helpless self-comfort. Huawei's struggle to develop its own chips is like a thrilling legend. Looking back on the past, it is not difficult for China to see that the US government's suppression of Huawei began 20 years ago, and it has quietly entered their field of vision. Since then, the US government and the FBI have focused on Huawei, and the crackdown on the Chinese tech giant has intensified. From the initial restrictions on Huawei's acquisition and purchase, to the prohibition of Huawei's entry into the US market, to lobbying and threatening other countries on the grounds of so-called security, pushing Huawei to the forefront, and finally evolved to include Huawei in the entity list and impose sanctions on Kirin. The chip is technically blocked. The Harmony OS operating system, MHS service, Huawei software store, etc. are all struggling under the high-handed resistance of the United States. Back on May 15, 2019, 
the United States suddenly announced that Huawei and other companies would be included in the entity list for export control. This decision was like a heavy hammer on Huawei's development path. However, the US ban did not stop, but gradually escalated. First, Huawei was prohibited from using chip design software developed by the United States, then, the United States further prohibited OEMs with American technology from producing chips for Huawei, then, the United States even introduced policies that made it impossible for Huawei to even purchase chips produced by American technology things. This series of actions has gradually tightened the United States chip control measures against Huawei, and many companies such as TSMC, Qualcomm, Samsung, and SMIC have been forced to stop supplying chips to Huawei. With the formation of the U.S. technical blockade order, Huawei seems to be placed in an extremely difficult situation. However, the suppression by the United States failed to kill Huawei, but inspired its extremely strong vitality. Innovative operating systems such as Harmony OS and EULA have come out one after another, like a bright light shining in the dark. This year, Huawei has achieved independence in the field of ERP, releasing the self-developed ERP operating system, Mate ERP. This series of measures is like a shot in the arm, making Huawei more determined in its path of innovation. At this time, the sudden launch of the Huawei Mate 60 series seems to be silently telling that the siege and interception of the United States is doomed to come to naught. Not long ago, a Weibo reply attracted widespread attention. It was a statement made by Chinese military expert Zhong Xiaosheng, with China's research and development capabilities, there will be no need for American chips to be exported in three years. Today, these words seem to appear profoundly predictable. The current situation actually confirms Zhong Xiaosheng's point of view. At present, under the gradually mature process technology of the domestic chip industry, the products produced have gradually been able to meet the needs of the mainland market. Data show that the number of imported chips in China has been declining for 18 consecutive months, while the production capacity of domestic chips has grown for four consecutive months. The technological gap between high-end chips between China and the United States is narrowing at a speed visible to the naked eye. This powerful trend of independent innovation, like a majestic wave, is hitting the boundaries of technology. Amid all these changes, the panic and bewilderment of the United States have become more and more prominent. They seem to be standing in front of the great wheel of time witnessing their own powerlessness. The arrogance and confidence that we once had have gradually become pale in the face of the rapid rise of China's science and technology. Compared with China's increasingly eye-catching innovations, the United States containment policy is like an old man who can only do some useless work. Today's Huawei Mate 60 series not only represents Huawei's highest level works, but also represents the strength of China's technology. It is like a flag flying high at the pinnacle of innovation. It seems that the United States containment can no longer cover up the glory of China's technology, and Huawei's firm determination demonstrates the charm and infinite possibilities of independent innovation. In the not-too-distant future, we may be able to witness that American chips no longer need to be exported, and that will be another important milestone for China's technology to enter the world.